What's up, guys? It's Chris. Just finished watching Vladimir Klitschko, Eddie Chambers fight. Um, yeah. Well, at least it ended spectacularly, if nothing else. You know, um, this fight, Chambers, Chambers' performance kind of uh, reminiscent of a Joshua Claudi last week, in all honesty. Even the corner was the same with uh, Chambers' corner throughout, imploring him to get in there and do something. They're like, just let your hands go, damn it. You know, they were pissed. They wanted him to do something much like Claudi's corner was last weekend against Manny Pacquiao. But uh, I don't know, man. You've seen one Klitschko fight. You've seen them all for the most part in recent history, at least their last few fights. Um, Vladimir and Vitaly's respectively. Not saying their fights look the same, but this fight, until the very the last round, the very end of the last round, is very reminiscent of uh, Vitaly's last fight against Kevin and Kingpin Johnson. Just one-sided, um, you know, one guy doing something, the other guy not doing a whole lot. It was funny. I think uh, the corners in between the rounds were kind of more exciting than the fight at times. You had Emmanuel Stewart telling Klitschko, let your hands go, you know, let your hands go. Um, something I talked about, Vladimir not doing as much in my predictions fight for this vid. Just uh, not letting that right go enough. The thing is, Vladimir, you know, he's got such a size and power edge over most of these guys he fights, including Chambers. But whenever these guys come at him, he just backs off. I mean, it's like he's afraid of getting hit. Or getting any exchanges. When guys get close, he wraps them up. He leans over them. He clinches. Um, he never gets any any, any sustained exchanges ever. You're never going to see that from Vladimir Klitschko. And it's unfortunate because that's usually the most exciting times of uh, fights. You know, when two guys are trading punches. But when do you ever see guys trade? When do you ever see Vladimir Klitschko in an exchange? You know, uh, especially a sustained one. You don't. And you're not going to see it. So don't plan on it. But, um... You know, I can't criticize him too much. You know, the guy does what he does to win. He's effective, you know, and obviously he's, a, uh, you know, he's been on a roll. But I just, I'm not particularly entertained by it. You know, this is my opinion, but it is what it is. I mean, I'm a hardcore fight fan, but uh, I do like to be entertained when I watch the fights. And um, neither of the Klitschko's fights are all that entertaining to me. You know, the thing is, I mean, granted, they're great skilled fighters, especially Vladimir, but, uh, Size plays a huge factor, you know. I think if Vladimir and Eddie Chambers were the same fight si size, do I think Klitschko would still probably win? Probably. But do I think he'd win as easily, or do I think the fight would be as boring? Probably not. You know, he just sticks that jab out there and keeps guys at bay. Um, you know, like I said, when guys come forward, he kind of backs out. And as big as that damn ring was, it's pretty easy for him to <laughs> not get cornered or not get touched. But, um, you know, Chambers looked like he lost his confidence midway through, if even that far. Just, you know... um. Didn't let his hands go. Kind of looked like the Chambers against uh, second half of the Povetkin fight or the Peter fight. Um, just not inspired in there. Just not as confident. Um, of course, that also goes to giving uh, Vladimir credit for taking it out of him. But uh, anyway, last round of the fight, um, between the 11th and 12th round, Manuel Stewart was kind of going off saying, man, telling Vladimir, you know, go in there, let your hands go, finish this guy off. And he's pissed. He's like, you know, you can't, you, you, you don't need another boring damn decision or something like that. And Vladimir looks at Emmanuel and he goes, I will try Emmanuel. You know, you could tell it was getting under his skin that Emmanuel Stewart was jumping all over him to, to you know, to let his damn hands go. But, um, hey, it worked. Vladimir actually went at him, Chambers that is, and actually let his hands go in the last round and uh, got the KO. Um, caught Chambers with a left hook um, from a distance. It was a pretty impressive punch. Um, it's probably a punch where it may not have been as effective early in the rounds, but the accumulation of punches um, with that just took it out of Chambers. Uh, Chambers went down. Kind of went back down, fell under the ropes. Um, boxing fans probably haven't seen it, but very reminiscent of a uh, when Rampage Jackson got knocked out by Vanderlei Silva in their second fight. But um, Chambers was out, didn't even couldn't even attempt to get up. Uh, Vladimir gets the KO at uh, late in the twelfth round, so he ends it emphatically. But you know, you know, so I guess Amanda Stewart got in his ear. What's next for Vladimir? Um, maybe as Alexander Povetkin. I don't know. I was watching Friday Night Fights last night. Hard to say if Teddy Atlas is ready for Povetkin to take that fight yet, but uh, if he does, regardless of how that fight goes, I want to see it because I'll tell you one thing. If Povetkin falls in the same pattern that most of Klitschko's pay opponents do, um, Teddy Atlas is going to make a hell of a um, scene, you know. If you watched George Foreman Michael Moore fight back in the day, um, probably the most entertaining part of that fight was watching Teddy Atlas go nuts in between rounds. So also the same with uh, Michael Moore's fight against Vander Holyfield, so... If uh, Povetkin fights Vladimir Klitschko next, and Povetkin decides to sit back and do anything, 
Whether it's successful or not, Teddy Atlas is going to be all over him in the corner, so that's going to be worth it, if nothing else. So, who knows, but, uh, you know, congrats to Vladimir Klitschko, another dominant win. Um, no disrespect to the guy. I'm not a big fan, but I don't want to disrespect him or his fans. He's a good fighter. Um, him and his brother are the best heavyweights out there by far. Am I looking forward to his next fight? Not really. Um, do I blame HBO for not picking up this fight? Not really. But I'd like to hear your guys' opinions. You know, Klitschko fans, um, European fight fans, American fight fans. I know we have different views a lot of the time when it comes to the Klitschko brothers. What did you guys think of the fight if you saw it? Um, American fight fans, do you guys appreciate Klitschko's style? Um, European fight fans, what do you think? Do you think that we're being a little uh, too critical or harsh on Vladimir? Just like to hear your guys' thoughts on this fight and uh, the Klitschko brothers in general. That's it for now. Until um, next time, I'm out.